don't know if this country road is taking me home, but it sure might tip the van. The newest national park in the country. Not completely abandoned, but it's definitely a ghost town. Okay, this is cool. Oh my God. Where are Aaron and Brandon? If you missed our last episode, we had an eventful start to the second leg of our van life road trip. Tragedy has struck in the van. We had the police knock on our van. But after visiting Shenandoah National Park, we continued west to a spot we were originally never planning on stopping at. driving to Thurmond. <laughs> they gotta figure this out before they make the national park. Well, it is a national park, but they don't necessarily have the facilities for it. I mean, this is a one-way narrow bridge. I'm imagining once they get this huge rush in the summer of traffic from people checking out the new national park, this is gonna be nuts. Okay, so you might be wondering where we are and what we are doing. We are in the ghost town of Thurmond, West Virginia. Not a ghost town as in spooky, it's actually been abandoned since the 1960s and this town is actually inside the newest national park in the country, New River Gorge National Park. Actually isn't abandoned, there are five permanent residents that live here. So, not completely abandoned, but it's definitely a ghost town. It's hard to imagine this as a commercial hub as it was before the 1960s. It was a huge railway center, but now it's just pretty much abandoned. This train station is the same station that existed way back in the day when it was a bustling railroad station and it actually still functions as an Amtrak station and it's the second least frequented Amtrak station in the US. So New River Gorge has been declared a national park as of a couple days ago. So early January 2021, this park is officially a national park. A very unique, unconventional aspect of a national park but i think it's really cool and we're gonna go check it out Whoa. Wow. Oh, oh God. assuming one of the residents lives there that's that all boarded like up those five people aren't necessarily working on the roads good view at least Someone lives there. Oh, for sure. There's a car. Someone right, lives there. That's one resident. Oh, there's at least these three houses are definitely. Oh, uh, okay. So maybe this is where the residents live. For sure. We see life. We see residents. What are you doing here? That's unstable. Ooh. Oh, look at this. The church. Thurman Church. I guess it's still in use. Yeah. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Oh, my gosh. That was a really cool stopover. I'm glad we went out of our way to check out Thurmond. If you're in New River Gorge in the summer, I'm sure there's plenty to do like rock climbing, white water rafting, fishing. But if you're here in the off season, checking out Thurmond is definitely a must see. It's like a little piece of history and you're seeing what this once booming 1920s town looks like now. Now we are heading north to probably the most iconic and famous thing in New River Gorge the bridge. That 
has a very nice view of the bridge, but my friend Alex suggested that we go to the Bridge Buttress Trail, which is on the other side of the road here, and it gives you a view of the bridge, but on the opposite side. Looks like we're getting down below the viewpoint we were at at the visitor center, so we should have an even more unencumbered view of the bridge. These country roads in West Virginia, I have heard a lot about them. I don't know if this country road is taking me home, but it sure might tip the van. Some of these corners are nuts, so stay tuned. Country, country road. road. Take Whoa, one. that's cool. Now to drop some knowledge on this bridge. This is the fourth largest single arch bridge in the world. It is over 870 feet tall, and there's something called a bridge day. Normally it is illegal to base jump, bungee jump off this bridge, but the third Saturday in October every year, there are no rules and hundreds of people come out to jump off this insanely tall bridge. I've looked up pictures, it looks so, so cool. If you're into base jumping and extreme sports like that, definitely look into it because it seems like a huge festival. I do know that 2020, they did not have the event due to the pandemic, but hopefully 2021, we'll be seeing some base jumping off this bridge. It is cool that we're literally underneath the bridge right now. <laughs> We've heard from many people that there's amazing rock climbing here. And if you've been watching our videos, you know that Brandon and I have dabbled in rock climbing, but we literally just went climbing in a gym a couple days ago and we're still sore. So we'll just have to come back to New River Gorge. I do really want to come back though. I want to go whitewater rafting. The rapids look incredible. Oh, all right, Brandon, here's your chance. I did not wear the right shoes for this. <laughs> it did say that this trail was difficult, but that it was 0.1 miles. So it's kind of like 0.1 miles, I could just walk up in my Burks. This kind of explains the difficult aspect. It's like soppy, wet, dirty road. This is not a great view, I must be honest. Oh, it's an excellent view. Ooh, nice. I'm not the current shoes for this. Here we go. I think I need to prioritize myself. No, you need to prioritize the camera. All right, I'll put the lens cap on. Really, really be careful. Oh, hard with the camera. Okay, we got jungle up here. This is obviously not a super um, heavily trafficked trail because yeah, I mean, just like, okay, but it might be really, really cool. Coming out, ah! Wow. Okay, this is cool. Oh my God. Thank you, Alex, for the suggestion. This is definitely very cool. I think climbing here would be awesome too, coming up and seeing this view, yeah. but very cool just to do the 0.1 mile difficult trail. This is definitely the best view of the bridge. You're by yourself, it's unencumbered view. Definitely wear some better shoes than we did and know that you're gonna have to go on that rope climb. Come to the bridge, buttress trail, skip the overview, unless you wanna do the boardwalk climb, that's totally fine. But I think this is cooler and wow, it's it's been really cool being up here by ourselves, above the river, looking at the bridge. Are you ready for some pies and pints? You mean pizza and beer? Pies and pines. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it.
So as we were driving in, I saw a sign that said, smallest cool town. No, cool, coolest. coolest small town. <laughs> Imagine it was the smallest cool town. A random fun fact about Thurmond is that it holds the Guinness World Record for the longest poker game at 14 years. Backing up, backing up, backing up. Okay, now to drop some knowledge, spit some facts. So let's, 